nice return of fish we've got going in here. We're on the Green River and it's November. We're fishing for chum with Nate Treat, drifting from above Metzler down to the Highway 18 takeout. So let's go get some fish. Fish on! All right. Woo! Well, that's a short distance release. Hey, Nate here. Fishing the green. We're doing the Whitney to Seuss Creek drift. It's been a great day so far. Plenty of fish on the line. Floating a jig, bobbering jig, pink. Doesn't matter what it looks like. You want to get a shot of it? What's that? A little bit of shrimp. In we're, gonna business. See, we're gonna see if we can get 20 today. All at right. least. That sounds like a good goal. All right. Nice fish. Ah, he's not done yet. We get eight pounds. Look at those teeth. This is so cool. Look at that. Monster. They're beautiful fish. Oh, I love them. Don't let anybody dog on the chum. Fish on. And oh, there's nice. Nate uh, just anchored us up in a nice little slot, and bam, within seconds, fish on. Another beauty. Have you been keeping score? I think that's about number five now. Yeah. Another one. Yeah. I love these fish. This 
so cool. Chum. Silver time. Okay, not very silver at all. <laughs> no. This one cuts it. Pretty fish. Yeah, they're not pretty when they turn around. I've been sitting here struggling trying to put my braid through my float and Nate just showed me a simple little trick to put braid through your float. So you take a piece of monofilament which actually goes through quite easily and slide that all the way through and then you make a loop and you take the other end and you slide that through as well. And now we've got the two ends sticking out here. We take our braid, put it through the loop, like so. And now we take our mono, we slide that all the way through, and voila, there's our braid, came through easy as could be, and it's threaded. So, simple little trick. I'd been struggling all this time doing it the hard way and there was an easy way. So this is the uh, hazard we were told about. It's the big log. You got one shot. If it's super high, a little bit higher. Then, iffy. then it's definitely iffy. Yeah. Move downstream from last year. Pretty soon it'll block the whole river. Yeah, that's close. That knit close. <laughs> Had a great, uh, great morning on the river today. We probably hooked around 20 fish or so. 
and uh, it was just hot fishing there for a while. Unfortunately, the rains came, water went up, and the bite just stopped cold. That said, the Green River is a lot of fun to float on. There's that one tree obstacle you have to be aware of, so make sure that the flow is under 1700 or so to be safe. If you're interested in going out on the green, you can contact Nate Treat on his website. The link's on our site and it's natetreatfishing.com. So come on down here to the green and get some of these nasty chops. <laughs>